Hey everyone, it's Harms from Harms Storybooks and I thought I would do a quick little reading vlog for you. I just wanted to vlog some of Cozy Reading Night, it's one of my favourite readathons on booktube. This is the first time that I've officially taken part but I love seeing everyone's TBRs and wrap ups and vlogs so let me know how you go if you take part. I am thinking of reading Not Your Princess, Voices of Native American Women by Lisa Charlie Boy and Mary Beth Leatherdale, and The Impossible House of Beauties by Joseph Kassara, and Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. So my plan is to start with Not Your Princess, um, and then go on to Nevermore. I have a feeling that if I read The House of Impossible Beauties, I will read that just until I finish it. So I'm trying to savor it, trying to enjoy it more. I also want to read The White Book by Han Kang and Sing Unburied Sing, and also I want to read The Well of Loneliness by Radcliffe Hall and The Secret History, which is right over there. So I have a lot of options. I just, I want more than three hours, but more than three hours is a lot. I don't know. I get so overwhelmed with book choice, like, every day, all day. So pretty soon I'm gonna make myself some snacks, I want to make myself some popcorn and a nice cup of tea, and then I will set up here and read away. Good luck to everyone who's participating, and I'm so looking forward to having such a nice afternoon. So my lovely wife told me I needed to eat real food, and she's right. She usually is. This is like a Turkish Greek flatbread with mincemeat, cumin, parsley, mint, and feta cheese, and it's totally delicious. Right now I'm reading Not Your Princess, and I'm almost finished it. I love it, there's so many artists in here that I love, and it feels like a really cohesive anthology. So I just finished Not Your Princess, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's broken up into four major sections, The Ties That Bind Us, It Could Have Been Me, I Am Not Your Princess, and Pathfinders. I really like lots of different parts from lots of different sections, but I love Chief Ladybird's art right beside Gwen Benoit's poetry. Benoit is a trans Anishinaabe poet who writes about bodies and bodies of water, and her poetry is easy to read despite how heavy the content can sometimes be. Chief Ladybird is also Anishinaabe, and I just love her use of bold, vivid colors. She works so much and produces so many beautiful pieces. I'll link her Twitter down below. I feel like this collection was meant as young adult, but it can really be read by anyone. On to Nevermore, we're now into hour two and I'm up to chapter four. Things are starting to get exciting. He strawberry black tea. I sprained my ankle yesterday and so I'm reading and resting, but my wife brought me some tea as well as a thousand other things. Do I sound grateful yet? Cause I am. So I read four chapters of Nevermore and I'm still really, really loving it. It's so much fun and so whimsical, like a middle grade Wes Anderson film. I have so so many questions and I hope they get answered soon. Spice popcorn. I'll put up a rough recipe here once I edit this video but it's totally dependent on taste. On to the last hour and I'm reading The House of Impossible Beauties by Joseph Kassara. This is so so gorgeous and so camp and I just love it so much. The characters are so fantastic, so full of life and I love Kassara's writing style so much. I get so emotional while reading this, I can't wait to read more, but I also never want it to be over. So there you have it, that's my little reading vlog for cozy reading night, sprained ankle and all. One book read, two others started and enjoyment all around. Special thanks to my lovely wife Val, who spent all day making me food and fetching things for me. She's the best, and I'm very lucky to have her. Tell me what you read, or link me to your vlog or wrap up. I'd love to hear about books. Bye everyone! Bye.